Let's try and solve the integral of x over 5 minus 3x. And we're going to do this by following the same steps as we did in the last video where we integrated x over 1 minus x. I will leave a link to that video. This one is a little bit more complicated, but the principles are exactly the same. So again, the first thing here, the coefficient in front of the bottom x is negative 3. So I want a negative 3 in front of the top x. And since I'm multiplying the top x by negative 3, I want to cancel that out by dividing by negative 3, and I'll write that as negative 1 third. So I'm going to multiply negative 1 third into the fraction to cancel out the negative 3 that I've put in the front of the top x. Let's copy down the 5. And on that, I want this 5 in front of the minus 3x as well. So I'll put a 5 here. And if I put a 5 here, I need to cancel that out. So let's put a minus 5 behind here. So now we have the integral of x over 5 minus 3x is equal to negative 1 third of the integral of 5 minus 3x minus 5 all over 5 minus 3x. So now I can further separate the integrand here so I can write this as 5 minus 3x over 5 minus 3x minus 5 over 5 minus 3x. Let's copy the rest of the terms down. Minus 3, sorry, minus a third in the front and dx at the back. Now the first term here further reduces to 1. We leave the second term, 5 over 5 minus 3x. Copy the rest of the terms down. So we have two separate integrals. We perform this integral, we have negative 1 third outside of x minus 5 by the log of 5 minus 3x over negative 3. Close that bracket off and we add a constant of integration since it is an indefinite integral. And if we take the negative 1 third into the brackets we get negative 1 third of x minus 5 on 9 by the log of 5 minus 3x plus the constant c. So there's our answer. Let's check if this answer is correct if we try a different approach. So again for the integral of x over 5 minus 3x Let's use a substitution method where we let u equal the denominator, which is 5 minus 3x. If we rearrange that, we've got u minus 5 equals negative 3x. And now making x the subject, we have x equals 5 minus u all over 3. And I can separate that and write that as 5 minus 3 minus u on 3. So if I take the derivative of x, the first term goes to 0 and the second term we're left with negative 1 third du. So we can now make all of the substitutions so the integral becomes the 5 minus 3x on the bottom is substituted for u, the x on the top is substituted for 5 minus u on 3 and the dx is substituted for negative one-third du. Let's rewrite this as negative one over nine by the integral. So that's taking these factors out to the front by the integral of five minus u all over u du. And we can further simplify that to minus one on nine 
by the integral of 5 on u minus u on u du and the second term reduces down to 1 and this integral evaluates to negative 1 on 9 outside of 5 log u minus u we close that off and always add a constant of integration for being a indefinite integral and now if we perform the back substitutions we get negative 1 on 9 outside of 5 by the log of 5 minus 3x minus 5 minus 3x plus c and let's take the front negative 9 into the brackets and we get negative 5 on 9 by the log of 5 minus 3x plus 5 on 9 minus 3x on 9 plus c and we note that uh, we have a constant here 5 over 9 plus another 5 over 9 so let's group these together and call d equals c plus 5 over 9 this term reduces down to negative 1 third x minus 5 over 9 by the log of 5 minus 3x plus the integration constant d so we end up with the same answer that we had before okay so is there more of a general formula or a shortcut formula that we can establish for these sort of integrals let's uh, generalize the integral to x over a minus bx so note that the letter b or the coefficient b corresponds to the coefficient 3 the answer we have here is negative 1 on we substitute 3 here by the letter B the letter A corresponds to the number 5 minus we have the number 5 here and let's substitute that by the letter A but what about this 9 here and what's its relation to say the number 3 well the number 9 is 3 squared so let's write that as b squared by the log of and we put in here the denominator which is a minus bx and we finish off by adding the integration constant c and let's not forget the term x here as well I missed that apologies so I'll rewrite this a bit more neatly as negative 1 on b by x minus a on b squared by the log of a minus bx plus c and this formula will become quite useful when we study some dynamics problems involving air resistance so look out for my tutorials on those if you have found this video helpful please give me a like subscribe to the channel leave any feedback in the comments there are many many helpful videos in my channel so please feel free to take a look till next time best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video